Now another kind of sub report that you can build is one that uh, makes the sub report into a hyperlink so it doesn't actually show the detail until you click on it. So again you need two different reports. Uh, we're going to call this one the order header and the order master. Uh, so I'm going to pick on file and open up um, the order's details. Now here's a, a second individual RPT file, a second report. Now notice how this one has the order ID and it has the unit price and the units in stock and the quantity and the product name and the line total. So this is what's going to be the sub the sub report. It's very important that the two reports have a common field as we can see they do. In this case it's the order ID. So now I'm back in the order header. I'm going to pick on the design tab and uh, now I made some room here in the detail section to accommodate the sub report. I'm going to pick on insert sub report and I'm going to browse. I already have this as an existing report. So I'll pick on browse and then I'm going to scroll down and find the one that's called orders details. The one I just showed you. Okay, there it is. Double click on that. Now here's the choice I'd really like to show you. This is on-demand sub-report, similar to a hyperlink, and that's exactly what it's going to be. So now, um, in this kind of sub-report, it's also very important to, to include the linking field. Uh, in our case, the linking field is the order ID. So here's all the fields for the order header. I want to double click on order ID, and now these are all the fields for the order details, and it found that common field. You, uh, you would want to build that common field uh, into the in, into both reports. I'm going to click on OK. Now, notice how your mouse becomes the shape of the sub-report. So I'm going to go ahead and move that uh, over here into the details section. And I'm going to run this report now. I'll do a preview, of course. So notice how it says orders details. Right now it's sh showing the order. And then um, I can just pick where it says orders details. I'm going to click on that. And then notice what happens. Then the actual detail does show. So that's why it's called on demand. It only shows up uh, when you want it to. Now let's put that on a separate page. So I want to close this and let's do another preview. So I want to move over here and now I'm on 10745. I'll click on the order details sub-report and you can see now I'm seeing the details for 10745. So that's how we make a sub-report that's kind of a, a hyperlink or on-demand if you will.